All right, we have here uh, an, a water treatment system. Its goal, its design is to maximize the amount of oxygen in water uh, used a lot for agricultural purposes. So our goal is to try to supersaturate water with oxygen. And it's a system that uh, it does have an oxygen concentrator, so it's putting a lot of oxygen in the water, but it's also adding ozone uh, supplementing that with ozone because ozone readily uh, dissolves in water and turns back to oxygen and we're able to get those super high saturation levels of oxygen in the water. So I want to explain you know, a few features of this system. We've got a water inlet right at the front of the pump here. Uh, pump takes water in Typically, there's going to be a, a reservoir of water, a, a tank of water that it's going to cycle through. So we'll take it in through the pump right down here. Pump forces it up through this venturi. Uh, venturi is really a very key component of any of these injection systems. That's where the oxygen and the ozone are going to be introduced to the water and uh, uh, forced under some pressure and uh, mix it well with a lot of little bubbles and a lot of it gets dissolved. Um, so we've got two pressure gauges here. Uh, these are important too in understanding the performance of the Venturi. We need to have at least 20 psi of differential so it's going to be a higher pressure forcing it through this Venturi and then about 20 psi lower on this side. That pressure differential uh, allows this venturi to suck in oxygen and ozone into the venturi. Um, it's maybe hard to see here, but there's a, a check valve here so that when this stops running, when the pump stops running, uh, it would be possible for water to uh, flow back uh, through this injection line. Uh, so this check valve prevents that from happening. Uh, this uh, clear plastic tubing here is where the ozone and the oxygen, oxygen are coming uh, from the ozone generator. It loops around the back here up to the top. It's coming out of the bottom of this cabinet here. So once that uh, oxygen and the ozone are introduced into the water, uh, it continues through this pipe here uh, behind the cabinet. You can see a little bit on the bottom is a tank. Um, that's the off-gas tank, and it's where the remaining uh, oxygen and ozone get dissolved into the water. Any leftover ozone and oxygen are vented off through the top. Uh, if we didn't have this off-gas vent here, eventually the tank would build up with gas and it would stop working. So this off-gas vent uh, allows the gases to escape but keeps the water in. It's a very important part of the uh, equipment as well. So once that oxygenated and ozonated water uh, intro is introduced to this tank and it has some time for the remaining gases to off-gas, uh, we come back out the bottom and this would go back into your storage tank. This one's designed basically to cycle through your storage tank and back in and run for a period of time and uh, bring those oxygen levels up in your, uh, in your water system. Um, we also have a few measurement devices on here. Uh, we've got an ox dissolved oxygen uh, meter here to measure the levels of dissolved oxygen. Now, the, uh, the system also introduces some ozone and we don't want to have any ozone in the water uh, when we're trying to measure oxygen levels. What we have up here is a, uh, a UV light to remove any ozone uh, in this sample line. We have a small sample line of the water uh, coming so we can take some measurements uh, before it goes into the dissolved ozone sensor. Uh, we hit it with UV light to destroy any ozone that might be left in the water so that we get an accurate measurement of the oxygen levels. So this is the a flow cell where that water is slowly flowing through and taking measurements and the dissolved oxygen meter gives you a reading here of what the dissolved oxygen levels are. Okay, so in this video, just a, a brief summary, 
Uh, it's an oxygen and ozone injection system to raise the saturation levels of oxygen and water. Uh, we have a water hookup on the bottom here. We have a water in hookup on the bottom, pulls it through, adds the oxygen and the ozone with this venturi into the contact tank, back out the bottom. Uh, inside this cabinet, you have everything needed uh, to generate the oxygen, control the flow of the oxygen, and uh, watch for the performance conditions uh, with some of these uh, display features. Um, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we have continual updates on different products that we have. Uh, we also have a lot of information on our website, and you're always free to contact us with any other questions. Thank you.